kind of how much have I spent? Like, it's too much. It's too much to spend. I spent far too much time. Too much time on this bed. Oh my god, look. Look at this. How many hours? I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Oh no. Did I just cut my hair? Lately, I haven't been as excited as I usually am about my wash day. This is because I'm beginning to realize some inherent issues in the natural hair journey. I would love to talk about these issues in this video. I started off my natural hair journey with one goal. I want to grow my hair to as long as possible. Now I've achieved my goal of 22 inches of hair and I see, my goodness, I use a lot of products. On an average wash day, I use my deep conditioner, that's the Joico. I use my shampoo. I use the leave-in conditioner. Then I use oils. This is quite a lot of products and I don't see this slowing down anytime soon so long as my hair keeps growing longer. In addition to the large amount of products I use on my hair, I see that my water consumption has increased drastically. Typically, I can spend between 10 to 15 minutes in the shower, but on a wash day, I see myself spending about an hour to wash my hair and about a, an hour extra to wash out the conditioner. So this is six times my regular water consumption. As my hair keeps growing longer, I feel that I may have to keep using a lot more water just to take care of my hair and wash my hair during my wash days. Now if you excuse me, I would like to wash my hair in private. After my lovely shower, whereby I washed my hair with shampoo, the process of taking care of natural hair has several steps. I've seen that in the natural hair journey, you have to find your own steps or at least the processes that work for you. This day, I shampooed my hair first and then went to deep condition my hair. This day, I forgot my clips. I didn't bring them to the bathroom. Therefore, I had to go out of the bathroom to get the clips while my hair was dripping. Typically, to make my deep conditioners last longer, especially my moisture recovery balm which I really love and works well for my hair, I find that I have to mix the Joico conditioner with the recovery balm, with the Joico moisture recovery balm in order to help the moisture recovery balm last longer. On an average, I use about 3 Joico moisture recovery balm on my hair per month. So 3 of them per month, that's approximately $30 just for the Joico moisture recovery balm. I mix the Joico Moisture Recovery Balm with the Moisture Recovery Conditioner and apply this on my hair. And once I'm done applying it on my hair, I put the shower cap on my hair to let the heat from my scalp penetrate my hair strands so that my hair can get deeply conditioned. In most cases, I either run an errand or go to the gym afterwards. But this day, I decided to stay back and do a financial analysis on my hair care regimen and what I found out was very surprising. On average, I spend $1,000 a year on buying hair products and hair items. Now doing a financial analysis, if I put $1,000 in the stock market or in an investment that returns about 8% which is the average for the S&P 500 and I do this over the span in which I plan on keeping my hair. With doing this analysis, I realized that spending at the rate of $1,000 per year, the opportunity cost of having this hair will be $187,000 in the next 30 years. Initially, I thought I was just being extra by spending this much on my hair per year. Then I looked at the Huffington Post and discovered that I was not the only one doing this. I did realize that some women spend above a thousand dollars a year on their hair. After realizing the financial impacts of keeping my natural hair, I decided to continue with my natural hair care regimen for the day, given that I still had conditioner in my hair. But while I was trying to detangle my hair, I realized this. There is a lack of consensus as to how to detangle hair. Some people are pro 
finger detangling while others are pro combing with brushes. And overall though, I have realized this, that YouTuber A has a different regimen while YouTuber B has a different regimen and there isn't a certain consensus as to how to take care of natural hair or grow long natural hair. I have been natural for 8 years and I still find some information confusing. From all of this, I've realized that the natural hair journey can get really confusing because there isn't necessarily a set of procedures that is agreed on by everyone and there are so many products out there that is confusing to find out what works for your own type of hair without doing a lot of experiments with the different products and spending a lot of money on different products for natural hair. Lastly, on wash days, prepare to miss out on something, especially when your wash days are not planned correctly. Typically for me, on my wash days, I miss out on having dinner with my spouse. All these issues mentioned makes it increasingly difficult for me to keep my natural hair. Therefore, in the past months, I have been contemplating on cutting my hair shorter. I think back to the times in college when, after I'm done studying, I just watch YouTube videos to learn how to grow my hair. I think of the natural hair YouTubers who have influenced me like Nappy Fool, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll and Chime Edwards. And I think also about my own journey, how I've spent 8 years trying to grow my hair and my current hair length. And with all these memories, I decided not to cut my hair. I decided to keep on with the journey because I just recently achieved my goal of 22 inches of hair and I just don't want to cut my hair off just as soon as I've achieved my goal. But with this being said, I want to get to a point in my life whereby I don't spend 8 hours plus on my natural hair every weekend. I will be content spending about 3 hours on my hair per week. and. I am trying to find a new path whereby my natural hair care is not consuming my whole weekend. This might be a new journey of its own, a journey whereby I'm trying to reduce the amount of money I spend on my hair and also reduce the time I spend on my hair. I am going to try my best to address the issues I talked about in this video and find ways to solve those issues that I talked about in the video. But I fear that if I'm not able to solve these issues, I would eventually have to cut my hair. I love my natural hair journey. I love the learning opportunities that it has provided me. And I love my natural hair. I love the beauty of my natural hair. And I don't want to cut it. But I fear that with the amount of time it takes to take care of the natural hair, more people, including myself, will get increasingly tired of the time commitments, the financial commitments, and other things that go into taking care of the natural hair. So before I lose faith or before I get tired of my natural hair, I am going to do my best to find ways to address the issues I talked about in this video and make my natural hair journey easier, less expensive, less time consuming, and overall much more fun. I hope you all follow me on this journey. So to answer the question earlier, did I cut my hair? No, I did not cut my natural hair. I love my natural hair and I want to keep it for a long time. So I will do my best to solve all the issues I talked about and hopefully share the solutions with you all who follow me on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you've learned something from it. If you face any of these issues with your natural hair, please leave a comment in the comment box. Or if you face other issues with your natural hair that I haven't mentioned, please list those issues in the comment section. I love the natural hair 
and my hope is that many more people go natural and enjoy their natural hair journey. I made this video for those who are currently struggling with the natural hair and those who want to go on a natural hair journey to show you that yes, there are some issues with the natural hair journey, but everything can be overcome. And also just to be honest with you all, that the natural hair journey is not all rosy. There are so many rosy parts of it, but also there are some tons in there, which are the issues that I've talked about in this video. You all take care and thank you so much for your time. Bye for now. Love you all.